What in the heck is this? Enough! That's how it's gonna be then. Very well. The only way we're gonna sell this is a fight to the death. So don't you dare hold back! <laughs> Burnett, take Pikachu to the operation room and wait for me there. Understood. Where are you going? Sorry, boss's orders. <laughs> Boss told me to tie you up next to little Skipper here. You have a problem with authority? With your kind of authority? Yeah, I do! Hey, life's too short to hold grudges. Especially since Mewtwo's about to end it all. What do you mean? Mewtwo's angry. Oh, really? His anger's been suppressed long enough. He lost everything. You can thank your kind for that. My kind? He's a human too and he's about to end everything! And you're still working with the psychopath? What he's doing won't affect me nor harm me. At least, I hope it will. Look, he pays well, and he's benefiting the world. You're not very bright, are you? What did you say? Oh god, I can see what's going on. As for you, I'll leave you here. Hey, wait! Uh, Pikachu? Piplup! What's going on? Why are we tied up? It's a long story. For now, we need to get out of this robe and help the guild outside. Wait, Dragonite and the others are out there? From the sounds of it, yes. I'm not sure how they knew we're here, but we need to figure out a way to break free from this. Any ideas? Do you think you can use Iron Tail to cut the rope off? I can try, but it could take a while to break through them. It's worth a shot, then. That all you got? Someone should have killed you a long time ago, Gramps. You good? Yeah, I'll be fine. We're outnumbered. This rate, we're gonna need a miracle. Where are we going to find a miracle? Umbreon, no! You two and I have unfinished business. Ugh. What are you doing, idiot? I told you to wait for me! I heard explosions go off, so I came to help. At any rate, help me take out this Dragonite! You're out of your death, Gramps! If I had known you were a traitor before, you would have been dead a long time ago. Just try it, dumbass! Time to up the ante! Oh, crap! Now it's time for some real fun! Bunnelby, uh. 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 are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do this with my eyes closed. You runs are no match for me. I won't be able to defeat this Drapion on my own. We need to find a way to beat him together. But how am I gonna do that if Veneri continues to battle recklessly? What? Take this! Veneri, don't! <laughs> nice try, lady. But you'll have to try harder than that! <laughs> but we did it, Bunnelby! Ooh, glad that's over. But we need to help the others. <laughs> Seems like you don't have enough energy left in you. Poor Turtle! He's taken way too much damage to continue. Hey, don't worry about me. <laughs> Seems like we've won this battle. If we have this much reinforcements, then we best call it before more of you get utterly mulched. I'm not done with you. <laughs> Didn't forget about you, old man. Dispose of them properly. It's time to take out the trash. Mewtwo! 
Pikachu. Piplup. Some fighting guild you've two got here. You can't save everyone. It's a shame, really, since they seem like nice Pokemon. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get your point across. That's just how it goes. Your point? Genocide is your point? <laughs> Why not? I already told you my reasoning is to get revenge on all Pokemon. But what about Gengar, Bennett, Lucario, and Hoopa? They're your friends who helped you with this, and you're just gonna let them get killed? These idiots? They're not my friends. They're just thugs who want to make a quick buck. I don't care about them. Boss, can we talk? Later! Lucario, kill them! Y yes boss. What? Why is there a glow? Cause I'm still awake. That's why! Caracosta! I'll be fine, guys. But I won't be able to handle both of them alone. On top of that, whatever Mewtwo is planning to do with the others is something we can't allow. So we'll have to get past Manette and Hoopa quickly and bring the others to safety. What could he be talking about? They aren't gonna fight Hoopa and Banette. They're gonna dive Mewtwo with an attack. Should we try to catch him off guard from behind? Not when we're currently surrounded. Not to mention that poor Turtle is badly injured. Hey, don't worry about me, Boonery. I've been in worse conditions before. I'll try to bear it through this. Are you sure, War Turtle? I'm sure. <laughs> Let Dragonite and Maui know about this. Mawile, take Umbreon and Deadnate to a safer place. I'll try to hold him. Understood. You boys ready? Yeah. Whatever you guys are! What? What the? Everyone, now! I don't think so! Damn it, he knew! That's enough for you! You brat! <laughs> Pikachu! Uh, oh, wow. You're both still injured. Stay back. Is that... You really thought something <laughs> as simple as charging straight at me would work? For someone who looks like the mon everyone is counting on, you're not very good at attacking wisely. You won't get away with this. Uh. Now to get what I need to complete the operation. I can't break free. This I can't breathe much longer. Peplum, Caracosta, Dragonite, somebody, anybody. Are you serious? Is it true? Were you manipulating me and everyone else to help you achieve something that will kill us all in the end? What do you mean, everyone else? You're the only one who doesn't know the true intent of this operation. The others were on board with this all along. So the operation about getting rid of every Pokemon except for us by using another human's energy to kill all life on Earth? Was nothing but a lie? Oh, don't get me wrong. I still plan on using Pikachu's energy and this mutant Y to get my revenge on the species that took everything away from me. But I only lied to you about the outcome because when I first found you on the night Pikachu was turned into a Pokemon, I noticed that you always tend to have a broken heart for humans like me. The only difference is that you act like them. You're just like Pikachu and the rest of these fools who will do anything to save this planet. Even if someone told you a lie, not to mention you were easy to manipulate and it must have been a sign of your parents not teaching you to trust random strangers, especially since you still decided to help me out in the end. Pikachu! And now I have enough of Pikachu's energy to take my plan into full force. I'll finally be able to achieve my goal I set out to accomplish ever since the day I was turned into a Pokemon. You... monster. <laughs>
<laughs> like I said, Bonette, I'll stick to my own ideals and get revenge on the species for taking everything away from me. Even if I have to sacrifice my own life to throw my own henchmen under the bus! No! Happening. Stay calm. Oh. Oh crap. Bunnelby, wake up. My head is that? Yes, it's what you think. It's not good. We have to help the others. Got it. Now you will witness my true power. Please stop this. You'll die, along with the rest of us. I don't think that's the case, Dragonite. Because I have enough power consumed inside me. I won't be affected by the oxygen getting thinner. But the rest of you will. And it'll be easy to kill you all here. Uh, that's it! Pikachu! No! from bleeding to death! Go, Pikachu! Please, don't... Don't leave us here. Uh, uh, where am I? Hello? Anyone? I've been expecting you, Takashi. A bit sooner than I prophesied. Who are you? Where am I? What about Mewtwo, Pimple, and everyone else? Such impatience, but you don't need to worry about answers. D do you know me? Of course I do. I know everything there is to know. I am Arceus. Because I have several questions I want to know. Such as why would you turn me and Mewtwo into a Pokemon out of everyone else that was alive ten years ago? Why did you let the war broke out? Was there even a point to any of this? Takashi, you don't remember what I told you last I spoke with you? Excuse me? Yeah, you don't remember. The war. Every death. Every gruesome detail. It's all in my mind. I know all of it. Then why didn't you stop any of that? You could have stopped it all and yet you chose to watch. You chose to just sit there and watch it all happen. Why? I mustn't interfere. I oversee. It pains me to do so. How do you know that? I've seen countless outcomes, the benevolent and the apocalyptic. The latter's involving me with the mortals, which is why you're in the center of it all. But why must I be the one to save the world out of everyone else? Do you know why I turned you into a Pokemon? I only turned you and Shinji into Pokemon. Because you two were worthy to become integrated into this new Pokemon society that arose. Shinji, however, managed to keep his memories, which threw him into complete madness. Well, this is meaningless then! I'm dead, sacrificed myself to a madman who's now about to destroy the world! I am not responsible for what any living being does. I create, I do not guide- So you gave us all free will just to save yourself? <sighs> no. Free will gives each life meaning, to know that your time is different from another's, for better or for worse. Mewtwo's about to destroy the world, and you aren't gonna let that happen, right? We both know there's only one way we can take him down. Of course. Remember, you won't defeat Mewtwo alone, as Dragonite once told you. Poor Piplup. He didn't deserve to be part of any of this. He was going to be a part of this one way or another, Takashi. I guess so. But if I do, you know, save the world and all, will I finally be happy? That will be up to you. Okay, I'm ready. This is for everyone down there. Good luck down there, Pikachu.
Costa? Pikachu! Oh my god, you're alive! But how? Arceus brought me back to life. Long story. Now, what did I miss? It was have been fighting Mewtwo to no avail. And you have getting tampered by the second. We don't know what to do. Ugh. Pikachu, do you want us to die? Or do you want us to live? Give us something! Mewtwo is stronger than any of us. But he's not stronger than all of us. Not if we work together. Pikachu's right. We're the guilt for freedom. And this monster here is about to end everything we fought and stood for. The guild doesn't consist of one Pokemon who defended alone, but rather the combined warrior spirit within us all. Will you all help me save the world? Of course we're with you, every step of the way. Then let's end this, together! Right! What?! Whoa, no way! Seems like there's more to that than we thought. Pikachu, did you know it could do that? Not really. Well, now that we can breathe... Assist Pikachu and Piplup in defeating Mewtwo at all costs! You idiots better hurry, because you're running out of time! Your reign of terror ends here, Mewtwo. gonna stop me from achieving my plans! If you think some stupid crystal and your friends are the key to stopping me, then you're completely wrong! I don't want my new friends to feel the same pain I felt back then. I won't let you take their lives away from them and destroy our home, our world that we live in. You two, I'll do everything in my power to stop you! I'll destroy everything and everyone on this planet, including- Shut up. What the? How are you able to shut the fuck Yeah, we did. <laughs> Sent a sorry ass back to where it belongs. But where's Pikachu? No, no, he, he did it. Piplup, calm down. Me and Mawile will stay here a little longer to find where Pikachu disappeared to. The rest of you, get to medical center and ask Aldino to heal you guys up. I'll also call upon a guild meeting when we get back. Wait, I want to stay with you two and help you look for him. Why do you want to help us? Because after being manipulated this whole time to do something as horrible as this, the least I can do to redeem myself is to help you guys out. And if that doesn't look redeemable in your eyes, then I don't know what else to do. Fine, you can help us out look for Pikachu, but don't think you're off the hook just because you helped us stop Mewtwo. Uh, of course. This isn't over. One day, you'll see. There. With that, you're all healed up. I'm quite surprised you guys managed to survive everything you went through. Trust us. It's a long story. Thanks for healing us up, Adino. Anytime, Bunnelby. You guys need to be a lot more careful when getting into battles like that. We understand. Dragonite! Mawile! Did you guys manage to find Pikachu? Unfortunately, we... weren't able to find Pikachu anywhere. We looked around the whole square and searched inside every building for the last two hours, but he was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Piplup, 
I'm sorry it had to end that way. It's okay, Pippa. We all miss him, too. Sad he isn't alive anymore. What caused him to disappear rather than lie dead? Well, that's a question I'm still trying to figure out myself. When we were searching for Pikachu inside one of the buildings, we noticed a bunch of papers on a desk that shows Mewtwo's plans in full detail, as well as information about what Pikachu could have done to kill Mewtwo. But we aren't too sure of that. You mind if I take a look at it? Oh, uh, sure. There's no way he could do this, too. What does it say? This paper talks about an aura I haven't seen anyone use since the war ended. What we all saw back there was Pikachu's synergy. You serious? How was he even able to activate that? Wait, what is synergy? It's complicated to explain, but in short, it's a hidden aura within every Pokemon. The issue is we can't use it at will. When your synergy is activated, it grants extreme strength, speed, reflexes, among other things. Basically makes you unstoppable. However, it has a lot of drawback despite those advantages. I've been able to use it once before, but every five minutes of it, it chips your lifespan away year by year. Its randomness makes it very dangerous to use, since you never know when it will happen. Dragonite? Didn't you also call for a meeting when you three would get back here? I did. The Guild for Freedom needs to carry on Pikachu's memory. He would have wanted us to continue what we were known for. Thus, we, as a guild, need to remember that Pokemon are not great fighters by claws they wield, but rather, the courage they hold within themselves. We will miss that from Pikachu. Also, Bayonet, Caracosta, I implore you to the Guild for Freedom. Wait, what? Bayonet, you got your head on straight. As a token of appreciation, the Guild would like to invite you to become a member. I know it sounds weird to accept you after all that's happened, but I think it would be great for you to be a part of this Guild. Dragonite, I... thank you. I'm flattered, but I would prefer to live remotely. My life is where I belong now. Very well. You will always be welcome here. Likewise. Meeting adjourned. When the time comes, who do you think is eligible to lead this place, Dragonite? I've been the leader of Guild for Freedom for a long time now, and I've been ready to hand down the mantle. Ever since we got back from Dentel Square, I always debated on when it will be the time for me to step down as leader. But that time has not come. And the guild will need me more than ever. I brought the asset. Oh my god, this poor thing. Is he even alive? Barely. He's in a coma state at the moment. It's possible to get him out of it, but it could take a very long time. It's cold without you here. 
of doubt were in the past with you around you helped me feel I had a place direction found you showed me that a greater dream can be achieved enough resolve will conquer all if we believe It's like winter lasts all year, but you star still in the sky, so I won't say. 